Okay, we need to go to the bar, right? Bar Gap, this is it, right? Yep. Hello. Two pounds for smooth. Oh, hold on. That's a lot of pictures. One of them, some of them are investigatable. That's the uh, bartender, written manager of the month. I can just steal photos off the wall. That's pretty crazy. Picture is Manuel and Bob hugging on it. In fact, this picture is with Bobby sucking somebody. Who the fuck is Bob? We're about to find out. Can I take one of the drinks as evidence? Yo, boss. Can you tell me who is the manager of this bar? Nah, I can't. Who are you? Detective Case and Clamba, private investigators. There was a murder at the Hotel Lisbon, and the victim was found in possession of a card from Gaff Bar. Can we speak with the manager? That's all very niche and all, but nothing to do with that. Either you drink something or you get the hell out of here. <laughs> you got it, Chief. Nothing like the cold Heineken. Does that count as... No, he keeps going. Maybe he's the manager. It's very close. Am I old enough to be drinking here? I came for the music, not the booze, detective. Interesting looking characters. Why are those guys blue? They're Muppets. Yeah. Paper with a warning. Close the toilet lid after you take a piss. Damn it, sign the manager of the man out. The bar's manager's name is Manel. Wow, really? Are you sure his name is Manel? How did you figure? It was written on the paper of the wall that I... Shh. You hear that? It's the sound of irony in the air. <laughs> Thank you, one citizen. That guy. That guy just loves him. An adjective to Mrs. Mrs. Star's, Star's services. services. Besides being asked, it's written as a particular font steal it. Mm -hmm. Well spent afternoon. Contact Maria Star. Phone number 69. Nice. 888-666-999. That's dumb. What a strange phone number. It almost seems uh, fake. A real number would have been used. Players would try to call it just like it happened to those fellows with classy dogs. Mm -hmm. What? Hmm? Can't put real numbers in things. We can investigate the graffiti? Some of them seem anatomically correct. Stop talking. This is too much information about bathroom graffiti. I'm so cute. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm exhausted the amount of time I want to spend in a public restroom. <laughs> so do we have to find Manel, or... Well, Be it patient. looks like we're, it's going to take some time. And it looks like we get an interview Ooh, on. here we go. I feel like Clownbot would do better. All right, Clownbot. Round one. Question and item. Uh, this bath card is really pretty. Where can I make one of these? This is the gaff bar gaff card that we found at a hotel. It tells us that Mr. Love was here in your bar. Uh, I say that one. No. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. This bar gaff card that we found at the hotel says that Mr. Laugh was here in your bar. <laughs> he was shining his own head. It's true. He was usually here every day. Norma comes at night, has a few drinks. Round two. Mm. Uh. We found a notice in your bathroom that states the gaff bar manager is called Manel. This is true, yeah. That should be helpful. 
Found it out of sight. Yeah. Ooh, got him. Yes, this is true. Mr. Van Allen is the gas ball manager. Now, who he is is a completely different story. Is he just shining them and then tossing them like a dick? Yep. This photograph shows that you, Mr. Manel, are the gaff bar manager. On the calculations I made with this proof I have with me, I can safely confirm that the photo was taken with the Nikon 400 SL. All right, what's up? Uh, uh, the first one. Yeah. Yeah. That one. It's weird that the music just disappeared during that questioning. Ew, wipe your nose, nasty. Yes, you're right. I'm the gas bar manager. Then why would you Success. just give me that information in the first place? Why is this like pulling teeth with you, sir? Yeah. Spell it out. Yes, yes, yes. Ask anything you want, but please stop nagging me. Was he at the bar last night? Yes, he was. Drink almost till he drops. Was he here with anyone else? There's here was a guy named Brian who actually usually comes to the bar. Two had some drinks and then left. Okay, so he's with the kid. Oh yeah, his name was Brian, isn't it? Good uh -huh. memory. Brian left alone. Mr. Love stayed. What time did Mr. Love leave the bar? Actually, I don't think I watched him leave. He said something about nature calling and didn't leave the restroom for the rest of the night. I went to close the bar. He wasn't here anymore. Hmm. You see anyone suspicious? I don't really suspicious, no, but Agent Garcia was here last night and forgot his handcuffs on the table. It's hmm. detective's handcuffs. Did you want anything else? I could carry... Can I use a single play an instrument or know someone who can? What? I, I just feel my weekend nights and I can't find anybody. We're detectives and the schedule is completely full. I can tell jokes, and because I don't sleep, I've got a lot of free time. Jokes of Pollock. No way you're going up there to make a fool of yourself. Besides, you're, I inherited you. You're supposed to help me. Let your little friend try it. At least one weekend. When will she? Even you can shock, I'll pay you about 10 pounds per night. A tenner per night? Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Okay, he'll tell you a few jokes. So now we know um, Officer Garcia was here as well. Yeah. And Brian. Oh, can you get anything in the vending machine? Whoa! That wasn't here before. A very ugly wig. Hmm. Wasn't there uh, three different kinds of hair found at the yeah. crime scene? It seems like it belongs to someone we met. Oh, oh the ho hotelier! He, he, um... He has a wig. I told you he was sus as fuck. No, I can't buy any smokes. Wow. That was very productive. Let's talk to Brian again. And then, um... Yeah. I got some then, questions for you, son. Yeah, let's talk to Brian and then, uh... Brian in the wig. Brian in the wig. Bruno, I want to talk to you again. Brian, this one is Brian. Right, Brian. Certainly, sir. What can I help you with, sir? You weren't at the hotel now. Well, you weren't at the hotel last night, after all, my friend. You were at the Gaff Bar. I was at the hotel, yes, but my shift only starts at 10 p.m., so I stopped by the bar to get it before. To get... Oh God, I can't read. <laughs> you know, Mr. Love, isn't that right? Your pals. Not really, sir. I had never seen him before last night, sir. Mm-hmm. What time did Mr. Love enter the hotel? Must have been 2 a.m. Did he enter with anyone else? No, he went up alone to his room. All right. Mm. 2 a.m. Feels important. What did you talk about? Mr. Love was very depressed. He had a fight with his wife because she was cheating on him for several years. He poured his heart out to me and told me he was thinking about killing himself, sir. You didn't do anything about it? I tried convincing him not to do it, sir. To, up to a point, I think I succeeded. I offered to accompany him back to the hotel, but he refused, saying he was going to stay a while longer, sir. Stop calling me, sir. Yes, sir. Fuck. Hmm. 
I wonder if one of the people that we've met is the person that his wife was cheating on him with. Garcia. Yeah. Mr. Seraphin? The one. Oh, God, he's religious, and his name is Seraphim, which is the name of a type of angel. I'm just getting the joke. Okay. Ah. What do you mean, the one? Yeah, it's the same interaction that we had last time. Hmm. Tell me the name of the guy who died. Who found him in the bedroom? That was me. Brian told me something was up because the door was locked. We went through these questions. Yeah. He was a regular. So we're not going to get any more information out of him yet. No. Because we haven't find, found anything definitive that connects him like we did with Brian. Yeah, we just found a wig. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think he was cheating with the wife. Quite possibly. It's usually the types that are like, Oh, God, I am so religious. Mm -hmm. You could never suspect me of doing a crime. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's in there? Let's go over there. What the fuck is that? It's like a restaurant? Noitadas? <laughs> Noitadas? We're really booked right now. Come back later. N.S. Hmm. Are you excellent Alexandra Martins, famous battle singer? Yes, I am, and you are? Detective case, private investigator. I'm a big fan. I have all of your records. You're a detective and an investigator? Wow, and you have all my records? Yes, uh, when do you start to show? For you, I'll start it right away. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Who's the sweaty guy with the fish? Oh yeah, I see a thing on the throne. A very well-written will signed by Sebastian Love and certified by Pina and Vescalongo's offer. I've never heard those names before. Hmm. Look at the fish. Hmm. So the victim was here. At some mm -hmm. point. No. I think that was on one of the guest books. One of the names in the guest book. Mm -hmm. uh, Philip Mallow. Lady Star in construction. Oh, I know why it says in construction. It's floor seven, it's room 700. And the hotel has six floors. Ah, okay. That's what it was. Filipina, yeah. Yep. It's 201. Let's go to it. Let's see if we can talk to him. God. He was uh, 203 or 201? That was 201. It doesn't look like I can open any of these doors. He's got the master key, so we have to unlock him at some point enough to get the master key from him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, Luna? What do you think? <laughs> She's got all the things to say. Maybe it was a conspiracy. You mean everybody's three, involved, or what? Three different hairs, right? One of them was orange, one of them was yellow, and the other one was brown. So if okay. we go back to the, the bar, and he admits that the brown wig is his. Oh, we can talk to her. I want to be paid, like, now. Compensation is very important for the investigation to continue. Here, sign here and here. What was funny about that? Good question. <laughs> He's got a side quest for us? I have a little problem. I lost my baton. What's that in your hand? This one's a spare. Unfortunately, this is very embarrassing for someone in my position since a policeman is not supposed to lose his baton. Correct. 
What does that have to do with this? It would be possible. Can you try to find him a baton? When you have time. Anything for my buddy. Oh, this is a side quest. Cool. Beep. Difficulty easy. When's the last time you saw your stick? I don't remember exactly. I thought it was here at the station, but I was at the ho I think it was when I was at the hotel with you. I couldn't find the room and I got lost. When I came back to the station, That's I didn't it. have I got any lost. more. Mm -hmm. I think you okay. lost it at the Hotel Lisbon. Policeman Garcia is hiding vital information from us. His body language indicates he has not disclosed everything. Garcia, comrade. Me? No. I've said everything that I have to say. I lost my baton in the hotel. That was it. I can't remember where. Now, please go and try to find it, friends. Pay a good reward if you find it. Hmm. Reward. Any enemies that might Any want your stick? Any enemies want your stick. Baton, damn you. Anything you want might want it? I don't think so. Hmm. Anything to add? Really start looking first in the Hotel Lisbon. Mm. Mm. Two cases to solve. Hmm. We have evidence that puts you at the crime scene, my friend. Either you're at the Hotel Lisbon or at the Gap Bar the night of the murder. You can tell me we go way back. One piece of evidence says you're at the hotel, but another tells us you're at the bar. It's theoretically impossible to be in the same two places at once. Mm -hmm. Unless you own a time machine or you have a twin brother. Both very, very unlucky. Likely. In any case, we do go way back, don't we? And what is your robot even saying? I was at the station the night of the crime, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. Detective. You think... Yeah, you think he'll get more out of him? I think so. Round one. Yeah. You had Mr. Love's suicide letter with you. How come it's such important evidence with, with you and not the crime scene? Mm hmm We got him. Yeah, uh, since the letter contains some personal content, I figured it would be best to keep it with me. So as soon as I arrived to the crime scene, I kept it with me. I gave it to you as soon as you got there. Mm-hmm. You're nervous. That proves everything. Mm -hmm. And you killed him. Your policeman's badge was at the crime scene. How do you justify this? Yeah. That, uh, is because I, uh, arrived before you did to the sign of the crime. Mm -hmm. I was there with agents, and uh, uh, we ate some donuts while I was waiting for you. Since I didn't want to get my badge dirty, I took it off. That right. It. The agents can confirm this, and thanks for bringing my badge back. You ain't getting he his looks, badge. He looks nervous as fuck. Mm. Garcia, these handcuffs placed you at the bar the night of the murder. We even have a witness that says you were there. Stop lying and confess. Mm, some Porto mm. wine. I do love me some poor ankle lime. That's where, Maybe I'm if, be, that's where I'm gonna be caught. Yeah. Maybe if we just. Because, like, if we say to stop lying and confess, he's not likely to admit to it. But if we just right. say, you went there to drink, we've got him at least lying about where he was. Right. No. When I go to the bars to drink non-alcoholic beverages, and I was not there. Oh. Hmm. Ah, we got him. There you go. Correct. Ah, yes, yes. I was at the bar. <laughs> uh, I should have been working at the station, but I was at the bar. Are you happy now? Why did you just say you were at the bar? Well, the truth is, I should have been working at that time. Please don't tell anyone, Case. So he was drinking on the job. What a little You're shit. Stupid. You lose your handcuffs, your badge, what next? Your stick? If it weren't for the witnesses at the bar and the handcuffs you left there, you'd become a suspect right now. Try not to lose stuff again, okay? Yeah, sorry, mate. Mm. So let's go back to the hotel, let's see if we can't find a stick. 
I don't know. It feels like there's a trap waiting there. He wants us to go to a hotel Lisbon real bad. Yeah. Yeah, you should totally go to it. And also, uh, don't wear a helmet when you go to it. Right. Can you stop trying, trying to, to stop. Doors? <laughs> no. <laughs> I will open every door. Mr. Not Found? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what the hell? That Everything's makes dark. Sense. Let's see if you can find the light switch. Beep, boop, error, beep. Cloud? Not found. Sorry. My sensors went crazy. Something is very wrong here. We're not supposed to be in this room. Not supposed to be here, but we are. Not trying to find a wall with the light switch. Case, in case you don't understand, this isn't just darkness. There are simply no walls. In fact, my sensors can't detect either floor or ceiling. I don't think we're at the hotel anymore. <laughs> don't be silly. Your senses are all screwed. Never mind. Let's get going. I think you can see some sort of window. Okay, but at the smallest sign of danger, I'll go back immediately. Wow. You're... <laughs> You're going to actually just wander through here. It's funny, you can't see his legs because of the earth. his legs are also black. Right. Traveling along. Traveling along. Are you not totally oh shit, there alone? is a window. <gasps> Ooh. I have to turn back. Error, don't touch that. You're really freaking out, aren't you? Jeez, it's just a very large window, dummy. But the glass is all messed up. It doesn't look... looks like a giant TV, doesn't it? Looks like a 22-inch screen. Hmm. No, what are you doing? No! Oh, shit. Huh? What, what was that? Where are we? Uh, Cloud, are you okay? Yes, but it seems we're outside the operating system. Outside what? Oh, my God. Operating system. This is a system boot menu. I don't understand what you're talking about. All I this see is white adorable. Some giant letters. I don't see the ending. It's white everywhere you look. Maybe he died and electrocuted, and this is limbo. And all of the times that this has happened, now I had a case to sell. You told me to stay put, but I didn't listen. What a dumbass. What now? How do we get out of here? I'm not sure if there actually exists an exit. Let me do some calculations. Okay, calculate away. I need to buy more cigarettes. I have a solution, but it won't be pretty. Will he get us out of here? Yes, boop. I'll just load the last save that we had right before we came in here. The only problem is we won't remember any of this. We might commit the same mistake and empty this room again. We might be stuck here for all time in an infinite loop. Last time I got stuck in a loop, I was in a roller coaster. It wasn't that much fun. Beep. Oh, come on. Do whatever you do to, you gotta do to get us out of here. I'm running out of cigarettes and I don't see a place to buy more. Okay, hang on tight so I can restart this. By the way, Case? Yes? Since you want to remember anything, I can confess something to you. What? Really? I don't know if it's a good idea, but what is it? I am the one who took Daniela's photos in bikini when I archived your files. Nah. Boop. What? Dumb. Whoa. Apparently we just completed a sub-quest. Yay! Well, okay. That'll happen. I'm busy. Come back later. Oh? Maybe we should talk to Garcia first. Hmm. Mrs. Star's room. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, knock on every door at the Hotel Lisbon. I got an achievement called Jehovah Witness. <laughs> Policeman Garcia's stick? Hmm. I don't know anything about that, Detective, but maybe the lady that stands usually at the entrance of my hotel knows about the policeman's stick. Oh? Why do you say that? Uh, last time Lady Star went up to her room, she dropped a very peculiar card. Oh, she's Star. Me is a good... She's a good hotel manager, and God knows I am caught the card and kept it with the purpose of returning it. Can I have it? Yes, of course. What is the card? 
150 graph card with the Hotel Lisbon logo. It must belong to the Hotel Lisbon and the Hotel Lisbon Street and the Hotel Lisbon. Interesting. Lady Star 603. Wait, if... But you have to talk to the policeman first. No, hold on. If she's Lady Star, the person who stands outside the, the thing, who the fuck is in her room? Oh, good question. Garcia Stick. Good afternoon. Detective, I'm very busy working right now. Be quick about what you want. Unless you want to talk about pleasure. In any case, I come available to talk and free as a bird. And for you, I'll make you a good price. Lady Star. Star. Right. So she is Lady Star. Mm -hmm. Haven't you by chance found here at the entrance of the hotel, uh, how do you call it? The thing that stick that people use to cop up, whatever. Police stick. <laughs> God. Police stick? What do you mean, a baton? Yeah, that's right, baton. Have you seen Policeman Garcia's baton around here? Garcia, that jerk. I see his face around here. That guy owes me money. Bet. <laughs> Beep? Um. How do you know him? Let's go through all of them. Yeah, how do you know him? That jerk owes me money. If I catch him, I'll twist him like a wet towel. Okay. That'll probably result in another murder at the hotel, Lesbian Lady. If you twist a human being more than 45 degrees, automatically causes the rupture of all tendons and bricks and bones. It's supposed to be anyway. A flying toaster? Why is the toaster thing funny? It was the same with the taxi guy. Garcia stick. Have you seen it? Saw it. I'm the one who has it. Let him come here to get it. What? I think she's referring to the baton. <laughs> I know, but why doesn't the lady here just returns the uh, Garcia stick? Because he owes me money. And a lot, that jerk. He really wants his baton back, then he has to come here and get it. Why is that it? You should pay up. How much money does he owe you? A lot. A big amount. By the way, since it was probably him that sent you over, here's a receipt. Jeez, so much violence. And she's gone. Oh, she went upstairs. Yeah. Might be able to go in her room now and get the stick. But I think we have to go yeah. talk to him at the police station first. 40 pounds. 50% of tax potential. 31% VAT deduction. Jesus. You appreciate the what? Sorry, I appreciate the amount of... Uh, clarinet that this game has <laughs> let's talk to you about sticky we know everything after you after all you know perfectly well where you left your stick what how do you mean i know talk with mrs star she says you usually visit her at least once a week many years ago mrs star i don't know what you're talking about i never heard that name before she's if the lady that offers comrade i think he's russian let, can, I, can I, can I please, can I please yeah, do the voice? Okay. okay. She's that lady to offer special services to her customers. She's usually at the entrance of the Hotel Lisbon. She's very nice. What lady at the Hotel Lisbon entrance? Jeez, the woman that gives you those special massages. Quite cheap, actually, according to what somebody else told me, of course. Yeah, yeah, never, yet. Really? Well, we shall see about that. <laughs> uh, I say the detective He's been working well Round one uh, You play on the other team Is that it? Oh my god what? I think you know very well who Maria Star is By the way since we're talking about this And because I don't really know How much does an hour with her cost? Ooh, ooh, that could be good because now you have a receipt. Mm. Mr. Love. There you go. Maria jumps on Garcia. What? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, the last one. A piece of paper with a detailed description of Mrs. Star is printed on a piece of paper with a police station stamp. I think if we do that one with, uh, I think you know very well who Maria Star is. Okay. Because I think those two will come up in uh, the other questions. Okay.
Oh, hey, right. hey. it really is a coincidence. That could belong to any other policeman. Hello? Oh, Russian sorry, voice. that was you, wasn't it? <laughs> Some good choices, though. Um, ooh, there you go. Hey, you right, you right. That's the first one. That's from another cop. What about this receipt given to me by Lady Star? With your name on it. Eh, right. The thing is, um, I wrote receipt in the name of a colleague who did not want her to pop up in the Texas because she is married. That is why. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jesus, how, many, how long have you been going out at night wearing a dress and using red lipstick? Where did wow. that come from? Card proves that you know her and has your lips printed on it with red lipsticks. Ooh. Card proves that you know her. Mm. No. Damn you! Damn you! All right, one last chance. The sound went away this time. We know you're sleeping with Mr. Star. Sorry, Mrs. Star. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Star. Case cracked. There we go. But you're right. I I do know Star, but you don't understand. I love her, Come. comrade. Is it Mrs. Star that has your stick and you don't know her? And you don't. Ah, uh, you know it's her, Mrs. Don't Star you? that has your stick and you know her, don't you? Yes, yes, I know her for many years. Uh, there we go. Uh, at least tell me the hotel room where she usually is. Six oh three. Okay. Tell her that Schnuggum still likes her. No LOL, pups. beep. From 603. Door number three. Don't get it wrong. I know how to read hotel door numbers. Jeez. Can we do it from inside the room? We can. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Alright, lady. What do you have to say? I right, wish you got going on. Lady Store. Lady Store, Detective Case here. We want to talk to you. Go away, I'm busy now. I'm with a client. Uh, Policeman Garcia wanted me to tell you that Fart Bums still likes you. Fart what? Bums? Snuggums. It's Snuggums. Uh, Snuggums still likes you. Oh, there oh was somebody here. Oh my god. A son. It's his and kid. He's... He's got the baton. Oh, hey, a, a videotape. Oh, my God. Uh, a little concerning that a videotape is in the hotel room. You gonna let me talk to him or no? Uh, ask about Garcia's stick. Lady Store. Star. Homie, right. why won't you learn her name? Why won't you learn anyone's names? Detective, I take you've spoken with my Garcia. Yes, he feels very sorry. He says he will pay everything back. Would it be possible to return his stick? He has to come and get it. It's in the hands of his son. Oh, right. I can see the similarities. I think Garcia doesn't know he has a son. Toaster is smarter than he looks. The toaster, he is smarter than he looks. <laughs> he doesn't know. He does now. Star. Garcia. And they're both twirling at the same time. Right. Police. Glad to see you around, you big jerk. I, I dearest, dearest darling. darling. <laughs> all right, you got it. Dearest darling, my butt, you've been gone for all these years, and every time I try to talk to you, you run. Are you still working down at the station playing cops and robbers? Yes, I mean, now I am chief down at the police station. So I heard. Does that mean you can pay up? Forty pounds? Of course, my dear. Why didn't you say so? No, stupid. I think you know as well I do what I want. You have been avoiding me because of him. Him? Your son, stupid. You know it. Don't pretend you don't. He's six years old and starting school. I need money for the books. Well, that's okay and all, but we have so much to talk and... Beep, beep, beep. What? Hmm? Case, we have to get going. We're late, remember? Late for what? Oh, yes, yes, we're very late. 
Um, Garcia, we have to go. Speak to you later down at the station. Yes, we speak at the station. We found your stick, didn't we? Ha 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 ha, beep. The joke is they like money. Ha! <laughs> well, that was a hard case. Now, what will we do? We will come back next time, where I'll uh, casually smoke a little bit more. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Um, until next time.